right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport next It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set, an ability to stay upright, yeah. an ability to deal with the pressure of wrestling, an ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He'll try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. You ready? You ready to fight? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all legs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. He loaded up there on that high kick. Knee to the body. Oh, big left hook there. Some real power shots here. Good, keep the pressure on him. What a body kick. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Good punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice body shot there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, missed on that one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Israel out of 
Adesanya's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Round two is a pass. Your thoughts on round one, Jay? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but no... And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Leg kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects there. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ball collar tie. Straight, straight leg kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, big shot land. Powerful leg kick lands. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Straight punch lands. How about that shin? And they separate. Israel Adesanya gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Twenty seconds to go, round two. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. How about those five minutes? All right, the round is over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both in a... Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got to work very bad. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight.
Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost oh. time now. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh! Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Hicks is in an elbow there. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's 